Greetings, Kincaid community. This is Headmaster Andy Martiri with my November video message. Things on campus continue to be very busy and go very well. As you can tell, I'm in our beautiful dance studio in the Katz Performing Arts Center. Don't worry, I'm not going to dance for you. However, one of the themes of my message is about the fine arts. Before we get to the fine arts, I wanted to talk about our fall upper school sports teams. All in all, we had six teams travel to Austin to compete, and here's how we did. The varsity football team defeated crosstown rival Episcopal High School 31 to 27 in a thrilling championship game to win the large school SPC championship. Varsity field hockey placed second for the second straight year with a loss to St. John's in the final seconds of a nail biter of a game. For cross country, our boys team placed fourth while the girls team finished fifth. Rounding it out for the upper school, girls volleyball placed fifth and boys volleyball finished sixth. We're extremely proud of the way all of our students competed and next season is already on our minds. Now that we've taken care of things on the field, let's talk about what's happening on stage. The fine arts season is in full swing and the students and faculty and staff are working super hard to put on great performances and shows. As you can see, I'm wearing an ELF hat. ELF, performed by Children's Theater, had six sold out shows this weekend. We even had to add two shows to meet the popular demand. Congratulations, faculty and students. The middle and upper school orchestra performed their annual fall concert Saturday afternoon. With the theme Americana, the audience enjoyed selections from The Wizard of Oz and Disney classics, as well as themes from a number of American movie classics. The upper school band finished up the weekend performing alongside distinguished guest clinician, Dr. Peter Lowell Boonshaft, and guest artists, the Houston Symphonic Band. Earlier this month, the dance company, middle and upper school choirs also held their fall concerts. Congratulations to all of our artists who have put in so much work. Now I can't leave you without mentioning the one and only book fair. Last week, the Melcher Gym was truly transformed into an amazing book fair. All students came by and got to sift through 17,000 books, plus other goodies for two straight days. It was a great time had by all, and again, without our event chairs and their large group of volunteers, it would not have been possible. In closing, I want to wish you and your family a very safe, happy, and joyous Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. It's really focused on family and fellowship, and I hope it's a great holiday for you too.